scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Are we there? It's projected. I just want us to read the A part. Are we together? Can we read? One to read. And the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. There is a relationship between understanding and the quality of your action. It says they had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. Not just that they acted, but they knew what to do. We're here tonight gathered so that God will grant us the keys that will help us know what to do. Many people are acting, just taking actions that are not producing results. It's one thing to act, but it's another thing to know what to do. He says the children of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times. Then they knew what Israel had to do. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like your candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. It's a prayer, not a song. It's a prayer, not a song. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord. Light my life. Light me, Lord. Let me know what to do. Pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let your light swallow up my darkness. Light me, Lord. 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 The Bible says, they that stumble, stumble in the night. There is, there is no way you will stumble once there is light. Are we together now? Yeah. The Bible says, the eye is the light of the body. It says, and if your eye be full of light, right? If your eye be full of light, then paraphrasing now, it lightens your path. But then if your eyes be darkness, there are too many people stumbling. I don't just want to start preaching. It's important to know that our hearts are prepared to receive. You see, this song that we just sang right now, it's not, it's not a special number to just make you feel emotional. I tell you, it's one of the greatest cry you can pray in this season. The Bible says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. But the Holy Spirit is the light upon the candle. A candle is useless. Notice the way the candle lights. It keeps burning the wax. And then the light keeps coming. So the treasure in that candle is hidden inside. Are we together now? Without a fire there cannot be light. The greater the burning of the outer sphere of that candle. The more it gives illumination. So I want you to sing this song with understanding. 
father there are I, I confess ignorance in my life but light me are you ready to sing it from your heart light me Lord light me Lord light me Lord like a candle Give us illumination tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Just turn to your left and right. Generously greet someone. Night me, Lord. Hallelujah. One of the blessings of walking with the Holy Spirit is the capacity to develop your discernment. Discernment is the spiritual quality of perception. It's the ability to perceive not just the origin of things, the spirit that engineers certain things, but also a perception of thoughts and a perception of intentions. With uh, discernment works almost like mind reading you are able to pick signals are we together now that's why i led us to read that scripture it says the sons of issachar had an understanding a perception of the times one of the secrets listen one of the secrets to a life of victory is the ability to move as the spirit is moving in the revelation of Ezekiel and Daniel had the same revelation it says how that the cherubs everywhere the spirit moved they also moved the secret to a life of victory the secret to a life of triumph is to do what God is doing is to go where God is going because anywhere God is that is where his life his power his victory, his glory is concentrated. If God is going to the left and you are headed right, you are in trouble. If God is going right and you are headed left, you are in trouble. It's important. That's why we pray. And that's why we create an atmosphere of worship. Because among other things, we want to build discernment. The capacity to understand the speakings of the Spirit for every season. Hallelujah. And um, God has been helping us. We've been bringing teachings already that I believe are very, very applicable to our lives. And in line with the word that God has given us this year. Tonight, I want to share on something powerful. This message is very personal to me, especially in this season. Because I have seen the... Let me borrow from the words of God's servant, Bishop David Oyedipo. I have seen the capacity for sweatless triumph on the strength of what I'm about to share with you. But then I have seen how difficult the life of a man can be if you do not have this. Let me digress for a minute or two to reiterate something that I believe has been an anthem in this place. It's important to know what spiritual growth is because that's why we are gathered here. Spiritual growth first and foremost is the ability to conform experientially to the image of the Christ. Conformity. Conformity to the image of the Christ. The second character of spiritual growth is the ability to sustain an ability where you accurately comprehend the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom so I can know whether or not you are growing spiritually 
by seeing to what degree you are conforming to the image of the Christ one and then the second point is I want to see how you are living your life I want to see how you interplay spiritual laws like a chef in a kitchen with raw ingredients but can give you an assurance to be patient for two hours and within those times he or she is working out something mixing the ingredients with intelligence and knowledge and after two hours sometimes what he or she is mixing will even change color they they know what to do and then they bring out a beautiful combination and it blesses everyone you are not a blessing if you do not understand the secrets of the kingdom you cannot be a blessing men rise in this kingdom through secrets we rise in this kingdom through secrets our business in this kingdom is the ability to trade secrets the secrets of the kingdom no matter how you brag about being spiritual if you do not know how to handle the secrets of the kingdom to produce the results that are required you are wasting your time and you will eventually get frustrated no matter how confident you sound now and what a joy to have a ministry and a platform by his grace that can afford us the opportunity to rise to a point where we understand the secrets of the kingdom this is what we teach every time and tonight you're about to learn one i pray that you not only add it to the list of the mysteries you may have had and are not using but that you pay attention to it because it may be the one key that is required in this season to bring prophecy to manifestation hallelujah can you pray for one minute and say lord open my eyes open my eyes open my ears amen tonight I'm teaching on what I titled the gift of men the gift of men Ephesians chapter 4 the gift of men I want to share with you and unlock to you a mystery behind strange breakthroughs the mystery or a mystery really not just a mystery but one of the kingdom secrets that controls what I will call a quantum leap in a man's life hallelujah I want to share with you a mystery that is responsible for the sudden explosion in the life and destinies of individuals businesses ministries and all of that please pay attention the gift of men Ephesians chapter 4 your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world and I will forever see your your spirit opens to me the treasures of your I will forever sing your praise. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your love. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your world, and I will forever sing your praise. 7 and 8, Ephesians 4, 7 and 8. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. 
wherefore he said when he ascended up on high he led captivity captive and did what gave gifts unto men those gifts are not talents those gifts are not the gifts of the spirit those gifts are people when he ascended up on high he gave men to men there are men called gifts are we together the gift here is not anointing the gift here is not talent like word of knowledge no 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 not at all not at all when you read all through the context of Ephesians 4, you never see the mention of anything anointing or gifts of the Spirit. Uh -uh. He gave gifts unto men. Where is your own? Because the Bible says he gave gifts unto men. And he says anyone who has that gift will come into a level, a stature, he calls it. Are we together? He gave gifts unto men. Fast forward all the other verses. He says to the end. Because of those gifts. That we come into the fullness of the measure of the expectation. The stature of Christ. Meaning there is a gift I must receive. There is a dimension of the operation of the spirit I must receive. In men. To be able to rise to that level please pay attention everything on earth today happens because of one single entity called man the wars in the world today happen because of man the peace experienced by nature by nations have been brokered by men listen to me the poverty that we experience in Africa and other parts of the world have been caused and have been sustained by men. The wealth and abundance that have been experienced in our world today have been engineered by men. The economic system that our civilization currently runs on was designed and is sustained by men. The policies that govern the progress or the slavery of individuals and territories were carefully decided upon and prepared by men the only reason why there are still human beings on earth is because there are still men the reason why there is hatred in the world is not because there are animals it's because there are the only reason why every other thing works you say i'm a real estate mogul no land does not give anybody money people love the land so the land becomes expensive everything revolves around men please pay attention i want to share with you a powerful mystery koinonia is running today not because jesus is lord but because there are the radio station thrives because at the other end of the broadcast there is a human ear not an animal ear not a monkey or a dog ear a human ear to listen there is an armed robber planning to rob today and his mission looks realistic because of the existence of men how come the end civilization of mankind running yet we never study them we study clothes we study oil we study every other thing but we never pay attention to men let me show you a wise man who did what we should be doing Psalms 8 hello Madonna Psalms 8. Hello, Madonna. Do you know why David was called up a man after God's heart? Listen, it was not just Solomon alone that was wise. David was very wise. 
He said, Oh Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Listen. Who has set thy glory above the heavens? Read on please. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast ordained strength because of thy enemies that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Three. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon, think about it, which thou hast ordained for, what is man? That thou art mindful. You took your time to create everything for him. You created the sun, the moon, you put protection, you made sure plants produced. So God, there is what is man what was in your mind when you were designing this entity called man that even you god will not rest why that is all god thinks about in heaven do you know god does not think about his glory i know what he's thinking about now man think about it sister if you are aware a brother has been thinking about you from morning till night i think it's a cause to smile that shows you are valuable. What is man that thou art? It didn't say brain full, mind full. Your mind is full. Right? What's that song? He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. So what is mine? He never say who is man. He's not talking about the personality of man. What strategy did you design that you call man? I know his personality, but Lord, what is the use of this? Could you not replace him with something? Listen, read the Bible. God has replaced many things with many things. But God has been unable to find a replacement for man. To an extent that no matter how bad man was, God will come and say, we will fix it. Even the man himself, after working them, he still preserved others. There must be more in this mystery called man. You know what is in a bank. That's why they protect it. You know what is in the earth. That's why we put NMPC to guard it. But we do not know what is in this entity called man. What is man? I put it in a better way. What is in man that thou art mindful of him? Can't you just waste them away and build another species? Lord, are you, are you so dull? After you created man, did you lose your sense of creativity? Why do you want to so fix him? Why can't you just replace him? Can't you put a mind in chairs? What is man? That thou art mindful of him. Not the son of man. That as glorious as heaven is. You are not comfortable. So you come to visit him. To an extent that you make that man your temple. That man your temple. Your temple. It's like Donald Trump coming to live. Somewhere at the back of this place. And he says believe me you cannot get the joy. And he says no 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 no. I mean you have everything you need. Let's sing that song again. God, we are, we are, we are flying this night. He will not suffer my foot to be I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so true. Jimmy, Moses had died when Archangel Michael came to carry his body. Lucifer also came wanting the body. The guy had died, they were fighting over the body. What was in the body? Don't just say it's your spirit alone that is important. Listen to me. What is in this body 
that Jesus is interested in, Satan is interested. Why do demons look for human bodies? What in a body? Listen, listen. What, what happens to them when they are in a body? You must understand this. I will show you a mystery that will change your life. We look for oil and ignore men. We protect oil wells and leave men. Think how foolish we are. We put fence around lands but leave men and ignore them and kill them and bomb them and we want to move forward. The psalmist said, I have already considered the ground. I consider the oil fields. <clears throat> I consider the sun. I consider uh -uh. I, I found out your attention is on this entity. So God, please tell me what is man that you are mindful of him if i have a safe with a million dollars and i'm hiding it if you touch any other thing i won't say anything but if you are coming near there i'll be shifting back that's how it is satan noticed every other thing he touched god didn't bother but the moment he started coming to man his attention batters that man and then jesus himself came and walked upon the earth they asked jesus why did you come he said to die <laughs> what kind of assignment is that went to the cross and the people he was dying for were not even repentant yet he was not angry there is more to me and you i will show you something today that will make you never hate any human being I will show you something today that will make you see that your prosperity is in the hands of man. What is man? The most abundant secret to our blessing moves around us every day. Yet we, we can trade it a thousand times to look for oil. We can trade it a thousand times to look for whatever it is. We protect things more than men we would rather kill men than kill things if 100,000 people die listen and Nigeria's oil field is protected we think we're still all right listen I want you to think about this for a moment just imagine that everyone at the same time in the world falls into a state of coma except you listen do we have intelligent minds in this place? Imagine that not death. Everybody simultaneously, 7.2 billion people, enter a state of coma right now, except you. Let me tell you what will happen to you. I know. You will first run to the bank. You will find it open. By the way, you will enter the safe and run to a mall. No security. No nothing. No plane. No more terrorists no fear where are the demons they are no longer interested you search for them every dark corner does not make you afraid again so why did it make me afraid man man the only reason why demons have something to do is because man is still alive so brothers and sisters i want to ask you again what is in man don't you think this calls for study this thing changed my life i'm playing with your expectation before i begin to teach you what is man when i consider the work of your hands when you see a man designing something you want to know what he wants to put there when i see you building a house i want to know the kind of thing you want to put there then you finish building a beautiful house lavish money and carry a little gold or a little baby or a dog and put in the house i know that that is a dog plus something maybe that dog you are hiding cocaine in that dog i will tear that dog and find out why are we together now jesus shed his blood many times men will cry even for themselves to die listen listen have you tried to fix things fix things and it didn't work what do you do you try to fix a gas cooker again and again it doesn't work god doesn't throw it away now it's a mystery i wish i had time i would have shown you something a prophet saw that just like a shepherd comes to rescue a lamb 
he gave us an analogy in the book of Hosea. I think it was Amos, Amos now, right? That a, a lion ate a lamb, ate everything. He only left two legs and one ear. Two legs and one ear. Yet the shepherd fought the lion and recovered the two ear, the two legs and one ear. When I read that scripture, I said, ah, if you come and you see a lion devouring your sheep and the intestines have been eaten only one ear and two legs is it worth fighting for and yet the shepherd fought i preached a message years ago with that because for as long as you can have ears to hear the creative word of the lord and two legs to take a step of faith you can get everything back again it's the mystery of restoration the most important part of that sheep the lion did eat it what a foolish lion it ate every other part and left what can bring it back the lion would have eaten the ears and the legs and gone away and you would have finished that animal because if you still can hear and you can take steps of faith then all hope is not lost let's go to our discussion tonight please sit down everything on earth I said happens because of man the demonic oppression happens because of man there are more angelic activities on earth right now than human activities all because of men if God were to open your eyes in the realm of the spirit you will see myriads of angels dispatched and sent because of man every business succeeds because there is a man to provide that value and there is a man to patronize it is that true those of you who do businesses on campus you know that holidays are very bad times for you you don't like it why not because the building moves are we together now to an extent it me that you can ship a consultant from india bundle him like a package and bring him to a hospital just to perform an eight hour surgery and go back and pay him millions yet you think he is worth it hallelujah what is man that thou art mindful of him i have spent my life studying and learning the mysteries of the kingdom that control the results that we desire i still am at it and i do it passionately i'm like a spiritual archaeologist if you would um, permit me to use that word because i strongly believe the the secret of the future is in the past there is something we have long forgotten about that holds the key to a glorious future and so i study a lot and when the lord began to teach me the mystery of men um i just felt it was very important to teach us now when you consider the personalities of men listen you're talking about the psychological implication of men you can have people who we consider to be extroverts people who we consider to be introverts and etc that's not what i'm talking about today i'm not talking about the physiology of men i'm not talking about the psychology of men i'm talking about the spirituality the very spirituality the spiritual significance of having a gift called a man in your life notice every time there is the coming of a man into another person's life the bible calls it an advantage when he created all things when he made the woman remember he said it is not good so another body comes into another life and the bible says that person's life should not be the same I, i'm just using marriage as an analogy he said he that finds a wife he never said he that finds oil he never said he that goes to school has done a good thing he never said he that, he that if you can find another human being then he said there is a friend another human being that sticks close ah, ah. he gave gifts to men the bible was speaking about the patriarch abraham and he said abraham set out on his journey as instructed by god 
and then Lot went with him. He never said Lot helped him. Lot just followed another man and Lot's life started changing. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Let me show you the implication of men. The Bible records that there was a man called Laban. Laban. And then Jacob came to the house of Laban. And over a span of about 10 years, Laban's entire life changed. Is that true? The Bible speaks about a prophet called Jonah. On his way to run away from God's instruction, entered a boat where there were other men. And certain strange things started happening. Every time someone died, they started calling for the appearance of a man. And a man appeared. And then something happened. Have you noticed every time men entered an atmosphere, they, they made certain things to happen? Men. Men. When Gehazi was troubled, he went to meet a man. Are men really important? When they were hungry, 5,000 people, they found a loaf, five loaves, two fish from a man and took it to meet a man. Even when the donkey spoke, he spoke to a man. Please, I want you to pay attention because what I'm saying will bless your life forever. That means if I ignore men, I am ignoring something more than a personality. I am driving out a realm of reality and possibility from my life. Listen, listen. If I ignore men, in fact, in ancient times, when kings had men, they were called wealthy not just because they had an arsenal of people to fight because sometimes the people were not skilled but in the multitude of men is a king's honor the multitude of men is a king's honor every religion fights for men kings of the earth fight for men the only reason why they fight for territory is so that it can accommodate more men are we together when a man meets with his wife they give birth to another man why is god interested in another man when satan tries to afflict a woman with barrenness what is he trying to stop what is he trying to stop he's not trying to stop joy no he's not trying to stop peace there are people who are happy without children why would satan take the issue of men personal when Moses was giving birth to mm, listen Moses was giving birth to a decree listen they said they should kill all not animals men in this case the masculine uh, gender but then men when Jesus was born the same thing happened again kill men what is in man oh God that you are mindful of what am i missing the last person i drove away from my life what did i drive away i'm about to show you why is it that the bible even says a born again spirit filled man for treating another man in his life called his wife the heavens will close over him and his prayer will not be answered i didn't steal i didn't kill i only did something to another man that was not good Yet heaven responds to it. This entity called man, brothers and sisters, has more than just a personality. If all you look at is just two eyes, two legs, and a personality, you will cheat yourself. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you certain things about men. Number one, men in themselves are not perfect ignore this because what i'm about to show you will be stopped when you are when you don't take away the you know the 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 effect of some of these things i'm sharing men are not perfect in themselves you may meet foolish men in your life 
you may meet all wise men in your life however it still is not in enough reason to just throw them away they may be holding certain things that i'll be revealing to you shortly are we together for some reason god hid his possibilities in men he didn't hide it just in buildings he didn't just hide it in territories but the consecration of the possibilities of men he hid it uh, possibilities of god he hid it in men he made man the highest of his creation men are not perfect in themselves number two the attitude and the behavior of men good or bad good or bad listen to me does not stop your receiving what they carry the attitude of men good or bad does not stop your receiving what they carry elijah was an angry man yet he was used to change the life and the stories of people you have to listen to this let me say the third thing that i'd want to say about men are you ready for this there are certain possibilities in men listen to me that predates even their salvation experience please listen predates their salvation experience that can still be received whether they are born again or not you have to understand what i'm telling you now am i just am i saying people should remain unbelievers no but i am saying there are certain things that god has put in men that can be received whether or not those people are born again or not if an old woman causes you whether as a witch or as a human being the fact that she has lived long enough certain possibilities have been open to her to be able to speak over your life are you getting what i'm saying now yeah all through scripture every time children cried god had children every time read your bible every time children cried there was a response from the earth to heaven that's why i say out of the mouths of babes and sucklings thou had ordained are we together your destiny and my destiny are men dependent write this down it's a very serious point the your destiny and my destiny the fulfillment of it is highly man dependent my prosperity is man dependent the quality of the work god has given me the quality of your church your ministry your life is man dependent the quality of your life on earth as a believer and as an inhabitant of the earth is man dependent your success and my success in life are highly or is highly man dependent evil on earth is man dependent the advancement of the kingdom on earth is man dependent the fulfillment of prophecy on earth is man dependent god can speak the bible never told us in the prophecy he said a virgin shall conceive a woman aligned herself with that prophecy otherwise jesus would never have been born he never said mary no a woman chose to play that script it just so happened that the name of that woman is mary 
it was said he would be buried in a virgin tomb he didn't tell us the owner that was somebody's business that was his property it so happened that the man who fulfilled that prophecy was joseph of arimathea he said how that he would be betrayed but he never said by a man called judas the prophetic word of god listen has been hanging over the heads of many people because the men to make it happen are not available or they have come and we have driven them away please pay attention occultism thrives through the availability of men when the devil wants to destroy a family there usually will be an envoy an individual an entity whatever it is men are more powerful than mediums you can keep a charm in a house but the most powerful charm is an aligned human being who has agreed and said satan i donate myself to scatter the life of these families are we together my assignment is tonight is to help us to open our eyes to the mystery of these gifts that God has given us that we throw away from our lives around called men and watch the unlimited possibilities I call it a quantum leap that your life there is a, a quantum leap is a jump not just a movement you move from one phase of possibility to the other because of the presence of a man hallelujah there are four implications of the presence of men in your life and i want you to note this number one the first implication of a man coming into your life especially sent by god is the coming of wisdom ideas and strategies the only entity that is able to convey wisdom ideas and strategies is man every time a man shows up in your life wisdom ideas strategies wisdom so when i drive a man away i did not just drive a personality that's why i said doth not wisdom cry it personifies wisdom because wisdom moves in and through men are we together now the conveyors of strategies and ideas and wisdom amen every time you are ready to move in a, to another dimension god sends a man and if you have the discernment that man can represent the strategy for the next level that man can represent the wisdom for the next level that man can introduce the idea for the next level many pastors many businesses many individuals are grounded because they think men are just black entities in clothes no every time you see a man coming to you in your state of misery begin to rejoice and begin to discern what is this man what is coming to me it's not just a human being with a mouth to speak are we together when you order a product from conga or jumia they have their pack is that true no matter where you buy it, they rewrap it with their own pack and every time you see it sometimes it could be a surprise when you see it you start laughing because you wonder what is inside whether it is big or small you want to see what is inside the next time you see a human being come to you especially sent by god in a prophetic season you must begin to rejoice because that person ignore the personality this is what i'm teaching you when you look at the personalities of men you will drive all your miracles out of your life there are times you have to ignore those personalities and discern i've been fasting three days lord what is the key to the next level then a man comes men are the vehicles that god uses to transport wisdom and strategies wisdom and strategies implication number one 
pay attention to what I'm teaching you. Wisdom strategies. Let me tell you, I think shortly before Koinonia would start, when we were still meeting that time at the back of chapel in the ABU campus here, one night the Lord led me to do something. I just told everyone, we're not so many, maybe three, four hundred or so then. And I told everyone, please, can you write, don't write your name. Just write out whatever suggestion that you think can make this ministry rise to the next level. That's your assignment. Just write it and drop it in the basket. Brothers and sisters, my life changed. Koinonia entered another, a quantum leap. When I began to read some of the things that were written, I was shocked. Men bringing with them strategies. Do you know the answer to your prayer is not far from you? You just don't have the eyes to see. Let me tell you, God is not wicked. I have learned by experience that every answer is closer than you think. It is shrouded in a man. The secret to your financial hardship, somebody is walking with the answer. And he will walk and pass you. Walk and pass you. Walk and pass you. Even be encouraging you while you are crying. But because you have not discerned that men are the conveyors of strategies. Men are the conveyors of ideas. Men are the conveyors of wisdom. I've had people help me solve problems in life. And I've been surprised not at the solution they brought but that they are the ones who brought it and i started saying i mean so why did i start going around i mean you were here all the while has that happened to you after going around looking for answers talking everything it is your roommate while you are discussing in the night you say have you tried a b c and that's the end of it men convey us solutions disguised in human beings that we push away and never rise to the top every time you pray and you see men coming into your life pay attention there may be men who have annoyed you every day of your life but on that day they are sent on that day they are sent who gave naaman the secret of his health i know we clap for elisha but it was not Elisha. The Bible says there was a little slave girl. Correct? A slave girl meant that she did not even have the rudiments, the education and the training. Yet, listen. It was her that told Naaman. He said, I, I, I know I'm a slave. But there is a man of God. There is a man of God. I want you to meet. When he met the man and you know doing his big manism. She, she's the one who came and advised him and said, see. He didn't ask you to go and bath in another dirty water somewhere. And Naaman washed seven times. And the Bible says his skin. Could it be that since 2013 you would have risen? But God kept answering your prayer. And you kept rejecting the answer. God give me strategies. And all of a sudden he said, please get out this way. We are talking serious things here. Said, I had a little dream. I saw you. I just wanted to share. Shut up! Don't tell me anything. I'm not stupid. I'm, a, I'm spiritual. A small girl like you. And you threw away your answer. The person, only humans can dream. Dogs don't dream. Forget all that junk you hear from sciences. Only humans have the faculty and the capacity to dream. A dream is a mystery. It's one of the access points where we receive revelation from the realm of the spirit. Only men can dream. Only God knows how many times you have dreamt the answer to someone's prayer. Yet the person drove you away. I'm not talking of false prophecies and, and nonsense where you keep harassing everybody. You keep seeing things about everybody's life, not your own life. I'm talking of quality, God-inspired solution that has a track record of results that we all appreciate. Are we together? Men. Number two. What is the implication of a man in your life? Endorsements and opportunities. Men 
are the conveyors of endorsements and opportunities listen if no man can endorse you in this life you will never rise Paul the apostle a man approved endorsed when they produce a drug they say this drug has been endorsed by the Nigerian dental society brush with it and your life will never be the same or whatever it is that that is the advert are we together now the endorsement whenever you are in doubt when you see that endorsement listen we trivialize endorsement companies have entered million dollar status overnight because of endorsement people have gotten admission with whatever it is because of endorsement I was talking with one of our people here who had been trusting God, I think for a change of faculty or something. And, um, you know, the guy was discouraged. And then I told him, I said he should meet our daddy prof, you know, just to help him out. And he said, he, I saw him, I think it was just last week or so. And I was telling him, he said, everything is settled though. He said in his presence, they were driving everybody out. But immediately he entered and they saw the signature. They said, come in. Is it prof? Come in. It's called what? Many Anal people think it's not spiritual. You need endorsement. It was John the Baptist. Listen, this is a secret many rising ministers don't know. Somebody who earns the loyalty of the people must speak for you. Otherwise, the gate will not open. The gate will not open. Show me the man speaking for you. Show me who has authorized. Listen, when a man endorses you, he takes his sacrifice and puts it for you to cross with. Many believers lack endorsement. Many businesses lack endorsement. Many individuals lack endorsement. There are many people who would have gotten jobs if only someone can say this and that and that. By the privilege of God's grace that he has granted me, I have endorsed people with just a statement. A one-minute phone call turned them to millionaires. One-minute phone call. Oh, I know this person. I can vouch for him. Help him. Benny Hinn was at, almost at a state of financial bankruptcy one time. They were going to cancel the crusade because he did not have enough money. He needed $10 million in three days. $10 million in three days. An anointed man like Benny Hinn, please pay attention. Benny Hinn was, you know, making a program challenging the partners to come. And, you know, when the accounts department, their back office were looking, nobody was really contributing. And the Holy Spirit told him to go and bring Oral Roberts. He carried Ora Robert and brought him. The old man came and sat on air. And they had only three minutes. Can you imagine? Three minutes to the end of the program. Do you know what Ora Robert said? He said, Benny is in need. Please help him. In less than 24 hours, they raised about $15 million. Everybody say endorsement. Don't joke with what I'm telling you. I'm teaching you a powerful mystery that you will need. Promotion many tongue talkers sit down everywhere because they do not do you know why i'm teaching you this i'm going to tell you the responsibility so that when you see a man that can endorse you no sacrifice to maintain the relationship becomes too much because you understand the implication of that person's reputation to your destiny all this unnecessary anger with everybody because you think you are the god of yourself you will stay poor and broke and you will lose in life endorsement 90% of the ministrations that I have gone to by the grace of God have happened through endorsements. One pastor endorsing this. Someone saying, I came for koinonia. Listen to this message. While they are saying that, I'm probably sleeping or gisting with somebody. I pray for someone tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice, the voice. No, any, listen, not every voice can lift you not every voice can lift you the voice that has been accredited is the voice that can lift you and i pray for you in the name of jesus the son of the living god may that voice speak over your life yeah. hallelujah men 
imply the presence of endorsements and opportunities pastor alpha called me i think when was it that yesterday i was in abuja and he called me and he said apostle do you know anybody who read civil engineering there is a job right now as we are talking for the person no interview no nothing and all he wanted was who is who is there i mean so that we can give him the, i said kai i don't know anybody in my mind let's come for koinonia after maybe the person is here now as you are hearing you are saying praise the lord and i help you answer hallelujah because that's it it's done someone's life changed overnight how many people after service they were just going out to trek just like that and somebody gave them a lift and while discussing they said, what do you do young man say sir you know i'm just moving around say, how, how can you be moving around what are you doing i'm not doing anything come to my office take this card and they thought maybe the office looks like just a small fish pond and another building and they enter the office and they say sorry this person and it, it keeps getting access until he gets to the man and he says well i'm the managing director of abc i'm the nigerian representative of this let your life change can men change people's lives <laughs> you, are, you are a big joke look let me tell you some things are not demonic oppression some things are childishness which have been caused by lack of orientation sometimes we need sufficient adults to tell us how some things work you know all this childishness people carry around i don't need anybody you need oh you better change that talk quick i don't need any man are you joking man what is man that thou art mindful of man is a conveyor of endorsement and opportunity are we together that's why we work at making every service a great experience for everyone because everyone's experience is automatically an endorsement of what we represent I have gotten things without paying for them because of endorsements brothers and sisters i'm showing you a simple secret that will change your life forever the bible says they know not neither will they understand they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course people have received partnership in their ministry overnight because of an endorsement i've had the privilege i remember one time a particular pastor somewhere you know I, I don't raise money raise funds and all of that but i went to the church and i you know i saw the project they were doing and when i you know said everything i said by the grace of god um i want everybody to sow a seed for this project just jokingly do you know the pastor would call me like two three weeks later he said in all they have met they have prayed and they have fasted him he was saying Kai, apostle you are really anointed i said no 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 no. in my mind it's not just the anointing it's a track record listen listen don't wait till you create the same track record you, you will you will time time cannot wait for you leverage on someone else's sacrifice The condition that was available to create that track record by another may not be available for you. Are you sharing what I'm saying? I know lecturers, and I say it with all humility, and it doesn't mean you should meet me after the service, but I know lecturers that I have called and said, Sir, please, so, so, so has met me that there is a problem in your department. And this thing is going to affect him. Ah, my apostle, how are you? You are even calling me. And I say, sir, please, I'm not saying you should uh, do anything, but please, sir, can you look into this issue? And the person will just come out and say, I passed, I graduated. It's only me that knows what happened between me and the other person. May someone discuss your rising, even when you are sleeping. That when you are, while you are sleeping, someone is saying, look, do you know Sam? I know how he will rise. Come on now listen those who understand this never get stranded no sir no sir no sir there has to be somebody to speak the voice that speaks for you is the ladder that you will use to climb in the destiny of life 
you don't pay attention to what I'm telling you to be at your peril because someone is receiving already the answer this is how God will bless men in this season that's why I tell you when God says it's a year of triumph believe him it doesn't take time it just takes the right voice speaking for you hallelujah I have entered offices today I have no business entering it because of the endorsement endorsement who has endorsed you man of God I know you are anointed but you are sweating all around with posters flying everywhere and saying please invite me give me 30 minutes out no 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 you don't have to do those gimmicks who around has had the credibility and is willing to endorse you hallelujah I will never forget one one of our ladies when she was preparing to get married when she went to meet her mother her mother said I don't have anything to tell you I don't even know this guy just go and meet apostle whatever apostle says think of it leaving somebody's destiny in my hands I called the mother I said mommy this guy is a very nice guy say apostle you are saying that I said yes from that day there was no challenge again Lord raise somebody to speak for me or raise someone to endorse me raise someone to endorse my business raise some raise someone to endorse my life my destiny there has to be somebody to speak for you listen let me show you that Jesus immediately they gave back to Jesus where did they take him to the temple there were two men that endorsed him are we together immediately they took him one prophetess called Anna had been there praying and fasting she lifted him and began to speak and then Simeon the prophet began to speak when John was among different people when John saw him John said behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world in the presence of everybody somebody must speak to you in the presence of everybody don't be angry that men are doubting you you have not done anything to bless them why should they not doubt you listen listen let me tell you do you know i say this with all humility there have been people who by the grace of god they started out in ministry and the church was not growing the ministry was grounded and all they needed sometimes they just call and say man of god please so many people listen to your messages in this region you are not here you don't have a branch me i'm here you know i love god and these people never come to my church and then they make arrangement and the day i'm going for those meetings some of those churches don't even have plenty of people but they have multiple overflows those times why because somebody that the people believe in has appeared are you hearing what i'm saying now and then the moment i speak i now say oh this is my a, a pastor friend a great man a man of integrity i love him with all my heart and immediately it looks like a one second or five seconds talk but the members just say i found my pastor since i can't come to zaria i found the person that can represent him that's why sometimes people foolishly carry my picture for meetings that i'm not coming they don't care whether i say yes or no they just start producing the posters in advance first because they think it's endorsement sometimes it doesn't work but when you have a man truly who can speak for you brothers and sisters i don't see the witch or the wizard that will tie you ladies have married cheaply because someone recommended them brother i've been praying honestly there's this lady i've been looking ah no 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 this lady is a blessing i tell you if it's this lady you are sure of joy and peace in your life whether in plenty or in luck and the brother says I've, I've, my prayer has been answered a few months later they are married but do you know the same way people's destinies have been cut short somebody was about to rise but a bad talk from someone brought him down they were about to give him a job he said don't give this guy a job he worked with me he's toast meant he, maybe the guy has repented oh do you know Paul had to do this for Onesimus it's in your Bible accept him i know he was once so 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 and so but now just accept him there are people here 
all those who know you knew your yesterday you have repented today you need a fresh voice that will tell people this is not Saul this is now Paul because the, the, the predicament of being Saul is destroying your breakthrough who today must speak and say no 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 this guy was an armed robber but January he repented are you hearing what I'm saying some of us our past will never let us go they know that you used to be around following every man yes that was your past but now you are born again and jesus is lord of your life yet all the people in your life are people who knew you 1997 so the moment they see a responsible godly man come in they call and say kai um you know david Dam, i wouldn't have told you it's just because you are my brother this is not a good choice I command every voice that speaks when you are about to rise. The moment there is consultation among your destiny helpers to, to lift you. There are voices. There are pastors today that should not be begging for bread. Partners wanted to sow into their lives. But somebody said, I saw his poster with A and B's poster. And immediately, over 70 ministrations canceled. Just because somebody recommended you badly. I pray any voice in the name of Jesus that has been speaking evil against your destiny. I silence that voice right now. Shout amen. I silence that voice right now. I silence that voice right now. Please sit down. Sit down. Hallelujah. Cheap victory because a man showed up. Quantum leap because an endorser showed up. There are pastors who their destinies have changed overnight. A man of God they invited somewhere could not make it. And he would just say, please, can you go and stand for me? That was a meeting that their level of grace and experience should not take them there. And they stood there and they did well that day. After the meeting, there are seven or eight pastors. And they say, sir, please, can you come to a, for a meeting? Can you come for a meeting? Etc., etc. There is no meeting, brothers and sisters, that I will go for that afterwards, somebody from that meeting will carry the wondrous works of God to another region. This is how we have grown as a ministry. This is how we have grown even financially. The blessing that has come from people. Are we together now? I remember someone one time sowing into the ministry and he said that him... I think he's a critical person he hates men of god many men of god are fake they are not serious but when he listened to my message and his mentor he, he had his mentor whoever that person was listening to my message he just said no we'll be sowing into this ministry every month i tell you every month he sows a seed to koinonia and a seed to my life do i know him i have only communicated with him on text but endorsement don't trivialize what i'm saying endorsement someone you are selling products and you are doing retail whereas a hotel somewhere or whatever needs your product in wholesale but they don't trust you and you will not be given the opportunity to prove your trust you will only be given the opportunity to be trusted based on somebody who already knows you who they believe and someone will say some answer ah, listen if he's a maker eh, i can tell you he will deliver your chickens every time if it does not deliver it, just take it at my risk. And all of a sudden, they will just sign it. And instead of selling one one chicken, somebody will come and say it's two five. You say we'll give you seven hundred. And all those arguments for hours just to buy one chicken, you will start doing wholesale delivery. Your life has changed. Blessings. Music artists. How many music artists have been suffering as if God didn't call them? beautiful voice but no voice to speak for you beautiful voice but no voice to speak they only invite you if everybody they invited is busy then they'll say sorry honestly this program is in three hours I, are you free just come and cover our shape you need a voice say i need a voice, I need a voice. say I need a, I need a man yeah you need the coming of someone in your life to speak for you what opportunities have you been given were you giving it or you looked for it by yourself? 
Are you seeing the secret to hardship? Where you have to look for everything by yourself. Who has called you to say there is a big opportunity? I cannot handle it. But here you go. Like whoever is going to get this job now. There are times they've invited me for almost every invitation that we honor. There are a few others we have to turn down. And there are times in my spirit, I have felt led to lift certain people. And I call those people and say, I'm sorry, I can't come. Their heart is paining them. And I say, no, 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 no. But this person cannot call. But I know someone I can recommend for you. Do you believe me? Ah, apostle, we believe you. We have been praying. Okay, invite us so and so. He will bless you. Case closed. I don't want my life to be hard though. The Bible said the way of the fool is hard. Wisdom. That voice that must speak in my life. This has been my prayer. I'm sharing with you my secret prayer. Lord, who is the person? Everybody is buying land. They say there is no land. It's a lie. It's just that all the important people have bought it. The day you come, they'll say, please. So, so said they should give him land. I've shared a testimony here that I heard years ago. Um, and I'll reiterate it very quickly. Someone who wanted to, um, I think, get admission in NDA. And then the, the required height level. The person did not have that required height level. And, you know, military people, they are very serious. Well, that's it. He returned back to Zaria and then met the Emir. And the Emir sent that they should go and tell the commandant. They should go and tell the man that the Emir has added the height of the person. Hmm. Who is adding your height in this wicked world? Listen, this our world is fierce and wicked. Who is adding your height? When people stand and conspire, we must destroy Benga. We must make sure he does not rise. Who is the voice authorized to stand and say, no, not this. I will show you why doors don't open. Because the truth is, I want to admit this with all humility. Many of us are already prepared for the next level. But we don't know the endorsement is the key that we need. The truth is, if it's music artists, God has honored this ministry with great people. If it's intellectuals, there are some of you seated right now. One endorsement. I remember a gentleman who came here um, some time ago, a medical doctor, and he discovered um, something. He, was, he got the patent for um, reproduction of something to reproduce a particular device that can check, I think it can check, your heartbeat and whatever without taking blood from your body very smart guy he came here and i told him i said please go and meet our daddy so that they will connect him with professor knock and like that and i think so on and so on like that like that we've not seen the guy again i want to believe that god has lifted him and i pray that it is so i made up my mind that every voice that must speak into my life whatever price it will take i will pay to secure the endorsement of that voice it's not human worship hallelujah or a robot help benny he's in trouble and all of a sudden somebody's prayer point becomes a gift hallelujah there are men of god who just do you know there are certain stages, even ministerially speaking sincerely, if God grants you the privilege and the access to stand on that stage, as far as ministry is concerned, God has helped you. There are certain individuals, if God has given you the privilege to see, God has changed your life. Endorsements, opportunities. Number three, what is the implication of the presence of men? In our lives number three what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives access to financial and material resources write it down access to financial and material resources part of the fringe benefits of the coming of a man into your life access to financial and material resources listen listen 
every one naira every material resource you pray for is currently in the hands of a human being right now praise the lord every land koinonia will ever buy in any nation of the world is currently in the possession of somebody now every transfer that you have been fasting for into your account there is an entity holding it now like this the money for your house is in somebody's account so when you start building a house it will not fall from heaven transfer will be made transfer will be made transfer will be made human beings there are human beings that are generous enough to change your life listen koinonia hear me it is a false understanding to believe everybody is greedy there are absolutely benevolent human beings your own price is to win their heart you can go to bed hallelujah and lot went with him he didn't say and lot believed what he believed lot just walked with him hallelujah do you know that someone was sharing a testimony somewhere uh i think it was a lady or so that was sharing a testimony somebody she knows they were walking along a path a road and then the person was quite a senior man and then he met a very big man and he was greeting the man and whilst he greeted the man he gave the man you know the person she was working with now that stranger rich stranger gave some money and looked at her and said ah young lady he decided to give her something too just like he was not even counting she said when she counted it she found that it was 50,000 just because she was working with who think of think of your prayer point disappearing simply because you are working with the wrong person it's the same way you can be working with somebody and you check and find out ah, i left my house with five hundred thousand. now i have twelve thousand. what happened the presence of someone took something away from you access to financial resources your money is in the hands of men please believe me your money is not just in the hands of business you can sell anything you want to sell it's a human being that will have to buy it for you to be paid men can bless you for no reason you must believe this dimension exists that a man can just bless you i've had the privilege of blessing people in a lavish and a generous way for no reason i don't even know some of them hallelujah let me share a testimony that will bless you i share these testimonies to encourage our faith I came back from Abuja this just this evening, just coming here now. And um, yesterday in the night, I decided to take a cab just to go and get something to eat before returning to sleep. And while I got there, my, my elder sister came to give me a surprise visit and we chatted for a while and then, you know, saw her off. Uh, on my way returning, I asked the man, I said, how much is your bill? Probably because the man saw me buying things for my sister and the rest. Ah, the guy said, oh, guy, anything you give me. I said, no, no, please don't tell me all those things. Just, you, you are working. You are working with intelligence. What exactly, how much is your money? And then he mentioned, okay, X amount. He said, oh, guy, you know, I told you I have three children. Because I asked him. I said, oh, you have children. How many children? He said, three. I said, you're a hardworking man. You know, we're talking on the way coming. I said, I like you. You're a diligent man, striving to make sure you provide for your family. And then when he asked me how much, I said, no, but you know that's not the price. So how much is the last price? Then he now told me the truth. He reduced it by some amount. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said I should take whatever was in my pocket, everything, everything that was in my pocket. I don't know how much, but it was, it was nothing less than 25000 He said, take everything and give the man. As soon as I draw from the car, I said, Mr. Man, you do not know me, but go and tell your lovely children that you met a man who decided to bless them make sure you take care i removed everything i dropped it the man was afraid ah this is i hope this is not blood money and etc 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 i just dropped it and said okay this is where i'm highlighting god bless you until i entered the man was shocked that's the kind of experience that is i didn't know you will answer me this way
there are such occurrences on earth i'm giving you an example that somebody's prayer now it may look like it's 20 or 25,000 or whatever i know it looks small to some of you but that's the same way it can be 200 and something million the same way it is that trivial the same way it was there are obedient people let me tell you there are people who pack out of their house and give you if god said it but if they have not had god you can be dying they will look at you like this there are people who the voice of god is their trigger but to get that voice of god you have to invoke this and say oh god let let send this man this man has what it takes to wipe my tears financial and material privileges accessed sim not through intelligence and business acumen through the understanding that men can do this i started doing something some time ago i don't do it again when i go to get fuel whoever is before me no matter how much he wants to fill his tank i pay for it i just said i'll do it as a seat if i go to get fuel and you happen to be before me whether it's a bucket you are carrying as long as it's within my capacity i will sow into and i've done that and i watch the joy that it, it, it produces in the life of people watch this one time i re i remember i think it was one of this was it salah or something like that a, a, party, a man came and I saw him bring out 200 naira. Ah, the wife was at the back of the bike. Just, he even just put one leg down and opened that this thing. Just, it's as if you just press the thing and take it back. How much with 200 naira fuel? I, I looked at him. I said, please fill the tank for him. The man just turned. Ah, he was greeting me. I said, fill the tank. When he finished, I just waved. I said, madam, bye-bye. You know, this and that and that. And the man just looked at me. Do you know why I'm doing this? One, because I love God. Two, I am activating the same thing because that's what I want in my own life. I want a situation where one day somebody says, Joshua Selman, I hear you need a house. This I hear you need five acres of land for koinonia. Take. I hear you need joy and peace. I believe it. Oh, if you like, don't believe it. I believe it with all my heart. It's not laziness. It's a provision that is in the kingdom. How many people have gotten free house they are not in ministry one day somebody just said come and escort me and they are sharing houses and you just got your own and left quietly and ran out of the town just quietly got a lawyer and said sign this it's called prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared blessings that's what God is getting ready to bring for us in this season prepared blessings where you will wake up in the morning with a text and you check the text and all of a sudden a man sends you a text wanting nothing in return i'm not talking of bribe look at this many of our parents some of you know that i'm telling the truth they are brilliant according to their level of sacrifice they should be working at the the highest echelon of the government but today nobody can speak for them there are many people who should be legislators doing very well nobody's speaking for them there are buildings houses that should be completed but there is no help because you start on your own you are receiving twenty thousand naira every month but you know one day you can just be passing and somebody will just look and say once in a while we just want to bless people and it just happens to be you dr mike mudok shared it a story one time how that i think it was his dad of blessed memory or mom they performed a surgery and it was about twenty-five thousand dollars. the people had exhausted all their monies and you know the hospital just called them and said once in a while we like to do good things to people just like charity and it happens to be you i was told about a woman of god in abuja today that went to a particular place and saw um it's like their chapel devastated she brought out eight million cash and say they should rebuild a house for God from scratch up. I know a man of God in this country. Well, not a man of God, but a rich man. The pastor had been shouting, we need a tent. All of you so we need a tent. We need a tent. Let's beautify the house of God. The rich man just kept quiet as if he doesn't know what they are saying. One day, the guy got up and bought a tent, 25 million cash. They brought it. I'm mentioning these big amounts for a reason. I want to stretch your mind because some of you will never believe it. If you like, say I'm talking about money, no problem. I know you don't need it. 
but your destiny needs it <clears throat> so you better pay attention in the name of jesus connection with men who can help you do you know sometimes all you need in life is just help you don't need advice you don't need suggestion sometimes all you need uh, you don't need help like spiritual help the direct need if you need a watch just sometimes case closed just that watch sometimes what you need is financial help when Ruth listen when Ruth and Naomi when Naomi stood and was confused did not know what to do and Ruth said I'm not going anywhere with you do you know a time came when she went to the field and she saw them gleaning and Boaz said leave some what did she do just leave some there are there are blessings you will enter into this year that you too you will know that this one no is not me is purely the sovereignty of god and i stand in the name of jesus christ i prophesy it upon you as surely as the lord god of heaven lives may that come to you speedily may that come to you speedily everybody shout prepared blessings say it again prepared blessings it, it, it is true it happens where somebody just steps in and solves your problem directly I share with you a testimony those who just got admission in the school of ministry congratulations but you will notice that a supplementary list came out it's not in our culture to release a supplementary list are we together now someone spoke for the students a voice that I honor that we honor I supervised the supplementary list by myself there were three people that I honor with every esteem in my life and when three of them called me I said no 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 I'm under authority to bring all the forms of the students who did not get the admission you, you were just sitting in your house and you saw an alert and they said congratulations but someone spoke for you why has it stopped why should it not continue in other areas of your life that somebody will speak for you you are just sitting you see an alert with a phone number and you call and say who are you you say we were discussing and someone mentioned your name it has happened to me it happens all the time pray one minute and say lord help us financial help us please ignore people who think you're wasting your time pray this prayer with faith lord son help us the house of god needs help us my family needs the ministry of helpers. All I need at this point in my life is a genuine helper. No string attached. Kapata la kotaya. Rekete no, thank you for investment. But what I need now is not an investment. I need a helper. Helper, my family is about packing up. I need a helper. Please don't joke. This is your destiny. This is a kingdom secret that can wipe your tears. I cry for a helper. The gift of men. He gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men to the end that they be established. He gave gifts to men to the end that they be helped. In the time of recession, he is still giving gifts to men. In the time of lack and want. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Jesus, this is someone's breakthrough tonight. I believe, I believe, I believe. Who said the medical bills must be paid through salary? Who said the helper cannot arise and wipe it? Who said the roofing of the house? 
Jesus, must be done by your savings. Sit down. I tell you, my spirit is stirred with what I'm telling you. Many of you will thank me. You will see your lives change overnight. Don't mind people who think what I'm sharing with you is not making sense. I show you what can change your life. Brothers and sisters, is one of the biggest secrets of this work you see by the grace of God there are few things in this ministry let me tell you there are few things in this ministry few things in this ministry that are actively being paid for from the central house every week every time there is somebody rising to handle something when we used to use other venues there are people who just arise and say look i will pay for the venue i will pay for this how much does it cost to transport people all through after service i will pay for it don't think it's everybody who must say what will i get in return there are people whatever you want to give them god has given them already they don't need anything they just want to bless you What is man that thou art mindful of? Number four, what is the implication of the presence of men in your life? I call it impartation, access to impartation and the prophetic. Access to impartation and the prophetic. Why do you need men in your life? Their presence can guarantee you access to impartation. What is impartation? Transference of grace for possibilities. Transference of grace for possibilities. Men move according to the kinds and the dimensions of graces at work in them. No matter how you cry for God to anoint you, if you ignore men, you will never. Do you know, look at me. Some of you, all you need in your life is just that prophetic push. Prophetic push. Bishop Oyedeko said every time they are busy celebrating winners and saying, wow, this is how the ministry has risen. They will just go to Papa Ia Deboe and they will just lay hands on him and say, you have seen well, but a new level. And that's the end of it. Prophetic push is capital. It can bless your life. It can wipe your tears. One prophetic word. I've shared with you countless testimonies here to the glory of God. Maybe I'll just review one or two. Remember the story I told you about the two women? I went to buy sugar cane. And two mama, old women, old women. I'm not sure they could even speak English. And they were trying to remove, they were trying to... Uh, um, what they call it? Yes, to remove the wrapper so that they remove the small money to pay for sugar cane. And I said, ah, ah, I may not have much, but come on, these are my mothers. Let me bless them. And I just bought the sugar cane. I don't think I spent up to 100 naira. I can't remember how much exactly. And those women were so touched. They were blessing me and blessing me. And one of them said, My son forever walk upon gold. How can a woman who is trying to remove five naira? She knew what she carried on her head. Listen, don't wait for people's physical result to believe they have it. You will be joking. You may see a man with 10 members, but he, must have, he can have a kingmaker anointing. He can anoint you and you have a stadium full of membership. If all you are looking for is someone else's result, no. Some results are not meant to appear physically. They are meant to be transferred and reflected in the life of another. It's called a kingmaker anointing. They never become kings themselves. Yet they are the ones who anoint and throne and dethrone kings. 
those of you who have kings in your village you know there are people who sit down with the kings they are called king makers they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who consecrate kings saul never became a king himself but he was the one who made kings and he was the one through god who rejected kings let me tell you there are people who carry graces they may not physically look like it they may not be millionaires but they never lack quarter to shame god will always arise that's a grace you need because all you need in life is not just money bishop Oedeko calls it the grace of on time when things come too late they can kill you they should come on time how we got that anointing he said he was a particular man of god i don't know if it was archbishop benton Idahosa or whoever it was who he, you know sent him on errand sent to Edeko on errand then when he was just starting and to show up at a particular time and the person showed up fast and and the Oedeko showed up fast and then the man looked at him and said ah you mean you came at the time he said from today i impart upon you the grace of on time before a need arises the supply comes there is such a grace now you may see people move they are not millionaires but they they carry that possibility The moment shame is about to come, something must happen to change that result. It's a grace. Impartation. By God's grace, we have lavishly received impartations in this place. Impartations. I have received impartations. I'm like a bee. I'm a product of strange graces. Jesus himself being the chiefest of them all. But there are human vessels. There are men who have entered my life and just wipe my tears in certain areas impartation and then a prophetic push i told you prophecy is both revelatory and creative the more superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension revelatory dimension gives you faith and direction but when you get to the end of your road you need the creative dimension of prophecy where someone can look at your life and say look physically speaking there is no hope but in the name of jesus i introduce a reality an equation into your life i was teaching in in, in akure and i told them the anointing is the, is an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage prophecy this ministry you see there are constant prophecies being bombarded on our heads prophecy 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 where is the prophetic voice pushing you to the next level where is the prophetic voice that's why every time i minister here i pray and i speak over your life from the depth of my heart it's not just copy men of god i understand the power of the prophetic second chronicles 2020 it says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established then it says believe his prophets so shall he prosper in other words don't believe them and what happens to you it says and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved the prophetic is real not just calling names and numbers but the ability to speak realities into being taking an advantage of this mystery the capacity to create things because everything that appears comes from the unseen realm so a man can program your destiny through prophecy like an alarm clock you can program an alarm clock to ring at a time you see that you program an alarm clock 327 and the clock will be quiet as if it's dead 327 on the dot that's how a man's destiny can be programmed a man can shift a breakthrough that should happen when you are 49 to happen when you are 25 prophecy prophecy can shift possibilities to and fro you must understand this by this time tomorrow elisha said he didn't say god told me by this time tomorrow when he met the shunammite woman he said what should i do to you should i talk to the king he said no no i live among my own people what should i he said well we don't have a child hear what he said he placed a time 
that's one of the ministry of the prophetic is to place a time for your miracle because the clock must ring he said to appoint unto them that morning zion to appoint so something that would have happened next year they take it and make it happen next week it's a superior dimension of the prophetic a woman will be coming here i'm sure one of these days to share her testimony she sent a testimony that touched me now this is not the first time we're getting these testimonies but they are very powerful i don't have time to look for it in my phone but i will tell you she said i think we're in a program i don't know which of the meetings now whether in yola or whatever yes they were part of those who uh, were in the welfare cooking cooking for us and I always pray for all those who cook, those who drive me and cook for me every time I go for any meeting. Now, I prayed for the woman and according to her, she said, I told her that, what do you want? And she said she wanted twins. And she said it jokingly. And I said, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you twins. Nothing really happened. She got pregnant two weeks after that time. That's the first news. This is a woman that had been barren. And, but when they checked her, there was only one child glory be to god that's all right at least i'm happy that i'm pregnant now and she said just like um i think maybe a month ago they went back to check and they were twins twins right there you see that she sent me a text actually because she started having some little pain like birth pains and they were saying most likely they will use cs so she shared that testimony and she was trying to encourage me to pray for her so she can give birth you know safely and then come and testify the creative dimension of prophecy that can place realities children just come through a man they come from god the moment mary said be it unto me she was pregnant it's just the body of the child and the genetics that come through the man children are a heritage from the lord He said, when he led captivity captive, he gave gifts to men. The question I want to ask you tonight before we pray is, have you received your own? Because the Bible says that he gave those gifts to the end that we attain a level. You have not attained that level, meaning you have not received those gifts. Have you received the strategies, the ideas, the wisdom? Have you received the endorsements? accreditations hmm. have you received financial and material resources i'm speaking to somebody from the depth of my heart there are testimonies i can begin to share with you now but if i say some of these testimonies that they are not it's not even safe for some of us because it may just push you through seasons you are not ready for but brothers and sisters let me tell you the truth anybody that tells you that God cannot fast track the life of a man is he joking look at my life look at my life I've heard of testimonies of people in this recession people have arisen and done things you cannot imagine one of the gifts that God has given me in my life I draw me to the leaders and the workers all the time is the gift of men the gift of men is greater than money the gift of men is greater than money there are some things money cannot do are we together listen if you labor on to death i've given this example here you labor on to death and you get five naira and somebody walks up and gives me five naira are, are five naira is the same no your sweat and your life was drained for that five naira it's, it's called the mystery of hardship when you work for everything you know we encourage diligence here but your lifetime is not enough for you to get every result by working you need an advantage and that advantage is shrouded in men not oil not real estate not banking men 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 who have you ignored in your life whose voice must speak for you in this season it's not that there are no jobs there are people getting jobs every time just like someone is about to get one now but who is speaking for you oh there are no contracts please keep quiet don't say there are no contracts with 7.2 billion people on earth 
are you joking there are no contracts there is no contract for you but there's contract but a voice can make it for you come and do a miracle a miracle today you will do a miracle a miracle today listen when you get into trouble hear me who speaks for you there are some of us it's not all about money when you get into trouble who speaks for you there are some of us if things don't work out in our lives we are dead there's nobody to arise and speak for you the bible says valiant men came to david they entered a covenant that they must make him king who is ready to die to see that your cause you criticize a man of god and there's nobody to back him no sir there should be somebody no 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 no. don't say this against pastor femi i love him are we together they just said they had some money in your office you are about to be thrown out you are in trouble and you are innocent just because you are working in the accounts department they are about to jail you in the prison in the in the police station there's nobody to speak for you before the law court nobody to speak for you they are about to throw you in nobody to speak for you Hapa. that's a life with no favor that every time trouble arises somebody will come and say look ordinarily speaking you are supposed to do a and b and c to a mecca but i come in have you seen people who when they are fighting they come and stand and say don't beat this person it's better to beat me who can cover you like that politicians call them godfather god whatever brothers and sisters we have ignored this to our detriment one of the blessings god has given me in my life it's not just divine immunity and protection god has raised men i can tell you this men who will stand and they won't mind blood coming out of their bodies to make sure they protect my interests and what we represent and i do not take them for granted but i am grateful i have been shocked a man of god somewhere once said something that was not too nice about me and i mean that person i i didn't even know it was when he apologized more than 100 people called him blasted nonsense out of his life and said god will punish you and punish you and join and punish you you mix every the baby and the bad water and think everybody it was something that was trying to show maybe like all these men those you you know you know what i mean now maybe if somebody put his hand in something that is ungodly time shall tell you know those kind of sarcastic statements and my goodness and i'm not talking of young people married women the person will say his testimony and blast the man and say, are you stupid? The man sent me a text. He thought I knew about it, honestly speaking. It was when I got I said, no, 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 no. No offense. I don't have, why, 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 I mean, I don't keep any offense. What for? Can you have people like that? There are men who can arise to cover your shame. Just because they know you, they will arise and say, no, 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 no. I will cover your shame for you. We have some prayers to pray this night. If our parents had this, they would not be struggling like this. Because every other person who has risen has exactly what they have. Educationally, whatever it is. No help. No help. No help. You work hard, you go to school, almost as if you would die, you graduate and your, your certificate becomes like a toilet tissue nobody to speak on it the only thing there is the registrar's signature and life will look at you and say no i need another signature come on this is this is this is too regular show me another one you are praying and fasting but you need to start praying strategically don't just pray and say lord send angels yes angels are important but you need a physical entity moved by those angels there was a particular time they were going to this paul was afraid of entering a city and god said no no don't be afraid i have many people there nobody will touch you i have many people many men there i'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this i'm tired 
off the status quo There's gotta be more than this There's gotta be more, gotta be more There's gotta be more than this There's gotta be more, gotta be more There's gotta be more than this Listen, one of these four things will become your prayer point i'm going to give us 10 minutes and i will not interrupt you 10 minutes alone with god you know what aspect the bible says he gave gifts unto men ask god lord where is my own where is my own gift where is the man you have sent with the financial blessing where is the man you have sent oh god with the prophecy for my next level where is the man you have sent with the idea? Where is the man to endorse my life, my ministry? Ten minutes. Please, I don't know how you will pray. But the next ten minutes, instrumentalists help us. Cry before the God of heaven. And say, Lord, I want to receive my own gift. You are giving gifts to men. Manda kapara to sobe kapara. This is a real triumph. Triumph to the lives of men. 
believe this you will hear of people's lives changing overnight overnight if you have never believed a man of God in your life can't you just believe for once doesn't your spirit bear witness that this is the key to what brought you here man an advocate man listen listen he said they are taken for a prey but none say yet restore they capture you but there is no man to shout restore prayer point number one oh god whoever holds the strategy the wisdom the idea that i need to experience triumph i open the gates of my spirit and i receive them as gifts go ahead and pray The gift of wisdom, the gift of understanding, the gift of strategies, business strategies through men, ministry strategies through men. One man can change your company. One man can change your business. One man can link you up with what 10 years has not been able to give you. One man can open up the gates of ministry. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. I open the gates of my spirit. 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 I receive them as gifts. Hallelujah. One man, one man, the difference between you and the next level. Prayer point number two, listen. Father, I have the talent. I am ready for the next level, but there is no ladder to climb. The voice that must endorse me for the next level, I call you by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. The voice endorsing my papers. The voice endorsing my products the voice endorsing my services the voice endorsing the hand of God on my life I call you in the name of Jesus prophesy 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 it's time to rise somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Call them. Call them Koinonia. Call them. Call them for your family. Call them for your life. The man to endorse your marriage. The man to endorse access to the man of God who carries the grace you need. The man to endorse your business. The man to endorse your employment. Elohim, man of mine, thy kingdom come, thy will be. Elohim, man of mine, thy kingdom come. Pray, 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 pray with all your heart. Lord, I'm a master's holder. I'm ready for the job. I need an endorser. I'm a PhD holder. I'm a graduate. I need an endorser. Lord, I'm a businessman. I have paid my price. I have done my homework. I need a voice. 
a voice to speak at the gate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. If you are a parent here, everything you pay, you pray for yourself, pray for your children, whether they are in your womb or they are everywhere. I hear what I'm saying. If you are a lady here, as you pray, you lay your hands on your womb. You don't wait till you get married. Come on. John was filled with the Holy Ghost in his water's womb. You can speak favor to be waiting for that, 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 that child formed in favor prayer point number three you are going to cry now listen 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 i told you there is the sovereign dimension of god's will you are going to cry for help help don't cry for money lord a helper can come i call him to my life lift your voice and pray Masataka parataka tokates, a helper, a helper. Are you praying? A helper. A helper. A helper. It can be this difficult. It can be this difficult. It can be this difficult. Bring a helper to make my life easy, oh God. So that I can have the time to serve you. So that I can have the concentration to focus on my assignment. Lord, I'm tired of financial distractions. Lord, I'm tired of material destructions. Send a helper to clear the way that I can serve you. Send a helper. Are you praying? You pray, don't look around, pray. Shaka Takata, like a proto soto, a proto soto, a helper must show up, a helper must show up, a helper must show up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Kai, I tell you, I'm, 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 I, I feel the joy in my spirit for the prayers who are praying. I know this prayer is doing something in the realm of the spirit. The last prayer point. I want you to pray this with all your heart. You are going to cry and say, Lord, the prophetic push. That one you can have it this night, right now. That one is available for you. It's up for you to receive. You are going to pray and say, Lord, the prophetic push, that push I need, that impartation, that prophetic push for my ministry, for my life, for my family. Lord, my family is in hellfire. We must come out this night. Lift your voice and pray. Pray outside, pray online pray wherever you're connecting from any nation of the world pray 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 your way to a new level. Pray your way to a new dimension. Pray your way. Shakata kata. Reko to 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 peke peke te. Reko sopo to to bas. Ebra kata naka to peke te. Reko se peke te 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 te. Neke te 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 bos kapanya kata. Shapa to 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 peke te 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 te. Reko to sopo peke te 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 te. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen. 
never forget this kingdom key it's a mystery that has been responsible for the, the mysterious rising of stars no father no mother notwithstanding they rose no education no experience notwithstanding they rose come on now life delayed and battered the enemy ate a major part of their life but in one year they recovered through men through men never forget this he gave gifts to men he gave gifts to men man of god and 45 years i've wasted my life don't worry one man one man can step into your life and answer the question of 10 years man of god my business is grounded listen listen do you know while the lord asked me to prepare for this message i was watching channels tv and i saw how that Eric l was about to pack up because they were in debt it was so much and imagine a big one of the biggest airlines in the country i love them of course I know that there are people who work there who might be listening right now. And for me, I felt so sad because I know how our administration depends on that airline alone. There are places only them can go. And I started thinking, I said, my God, that means there has to be another plan. And the only other plan can be chartered services. And all of a sudden, I just had that Amcon representing the federal government said they are too they are too important to let them crash and they said we're coming to wage you i said this is my message this is my message the federal government how many airlines i don't want to mention names have crashed in our presence federal government waved them and said you, you are in debt but that a man is almost falling and then a hand picks him you are too valuable to fall so i help you listen so you are making a mistake and you are about to die you don't even know what kingdom key then god wakes somebody to start interceding for you because you are too valuable before you catch the revelation someone else is already praying for you lift your hands i want to pray honestly god sees my heart and god knows that i'm praying this prayer from the depth of my heart don't worry whether you are standing or not just a sign of faith i want to pray for you the lord has declared that is this year of triumph let's not make him look like a liar you've heard the testimonies of people hallelujah in the name of jesus christ the sovereign lord the one who orchestrated this message i pray for you prophecy number one is that in the name of jesus the son of the living god beginning from this night a man everybody one by one a man must show up in your destiny a man must show up in your destiny hallelujah prayer point number two paul said once and again i desire to come to you but satan hindered us satan hinders men there are some of you God answered your prayer since last year but there is a spirit somewhere sitting on your breakthrough in the name of Jesus I'm, I'm prophesying I'm just speaking in tongues in the name of Jesus every force sitting on your gate to make it not open for your helpers I cast those forces out of your life I cast those forces out of your life I cast those forces out of your life listen whether it's an activity of witchcraft an activity of causes projections of men in their anger the scourging tongues of men to cause the constellations to fight you in the name of Jesus Christ who died and rose again I command your gates open I command your gates open I break the 
the power of divination I break yokes and curses I break the power of divination when Jesus got to the grave of Lazarus others were crying but they did not know even in the grave if a man comes resurrection can happen the grave was there waiting for a man when Jesus came he said ah uh -uh, hold on Lazarus only the voice of a man could call another man not the voice of an animal the voice of a man and he said Lazarus come for come for come for I want to call some things I want to call some things back they left you but they are not missing they are still on earth they left you but hear me they are not missing in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy whatever has left your life whatever has left your hands money that you lost business that you lost relationships opportunities I prophesy restoration now restoration now restoration now listen listen I don't care what happened I, I don't want to know the story behind it in the name of Jesus Christ even if it's a body parts that disappeared I call a new one now Whatever is the works of your hands that for some reason you do your best but it's like it cannot break through some levels there are people here who are business people there are people here who are working and they've been in the same position forever there are people who don't just move forward in the name of Jesus whatever has tied your feet so that there is no speed in your life I command supernatural speed right now supernatural speed right now supernatural speed right now hallelujah was he pray listen there are men being influenced by demons to stop the moment the God the spirit of God is moving the will of a man to your favor they show up just like a man shows up they show up and they impart fear there are people who would have done your business but just when they wanted to put money somebody said be careful oh and they went away there are people who would have bought your product in box but someone showed up and said do you really need it in the name of Jesus whoever is stopping men from blessing you whoever is being used by demon spirits to stop men from blessing you I silence their voices right now I silence their voices right now every council of Ahitophel speaking in dark places against the people of God I reverse their pronouncements right now hallelujah last prayer point and Jesus grew in stature in wisdom in stature and in favor with God you can have favor with God and not have favor with men I want to speak favor we must attack hardship and do you know listen listen by now you know but do you know why we do these things because we want to concentrate on doing the work of the kingdom these things are distractions thinking about money is a distraction thinking about all these all these jargons you can't pray you spend three hours you are not praying for souls you are praying out of against trouble it's a distraction you can't have the peace to plan your family well because you sit down and there's tension everywhere why because of all kinds of issues in the name of Jesus I pray may a fresh mantle of favor a mantle of favor a real 
solid mantle of favor may it land upon your life right now favor with men favor with men receive it in the name of Jesus favor with men I place it upon your life favor with men favor with strangers favor with men favor with strangers favor with diplomats favor with men of God favor with politicians favor with business people in the name of Jesus listen every time a man is looking for someone to bless may you show up there suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ anytime they are discussing someone to lift may the angel of the Lord introduce your name The angel saluted Mary and said, Hail Mary, thou art favored among all women. And she wondered, what manner of salutation is this? How do you look at someone who is barren and tell the person, go? It takes a while for pregnancy to show. And that woman believes. It's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant. No, the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you are seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging their encounters produce persuasion. Lord, you are not a joker. Lord, you believe. I, I believe you. Your word is true. Your word is real. You are, you are not trying to flatter me. You gave Jesus Christ. That would not be a joke on the cross. And on the strength of that, Lord, I am willing to act. Listen. The final step is action, but not blind action. It has to be the action required by God. This is where we miss it again. Are we together? Confession is a generic action. that of, It is the manifestation of the spirit of faith. The Bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written. I believe and therefore I speak. So we believe and therefore we speak. Are we together? Speaking is a generic action. But there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking. For instance, the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the Lord your tithe. Are we together now? No matter how much you confess your heavens opening, you must take that action. And if you take that action not believing, you just dropped money you drop 10 percent of an amount it's not a charm the power is released through understanding i am coming because i have an understanding i have a comprehension of what i am doing and lord i thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven hebrews 7 and verse 8 the bible says here on earth men gave tithes but in heaven he received them talking about the system with which god performs that function of his office that is in the order of Melchizedek right like he received the tithe of Abraham and spoke a blessing upon Abraham so he our Melchizedek our high priest receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives but that will never happen just by dropping money it's not about the money there is an understanding so your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens are we together now you pray and fast it is spiritual but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to so it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by God's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire are we together one time Jesus prayed for someone who was blind and the Bible says in this case he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it 
and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising God and danced there for one day he would never be open he would, the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now Mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out so when we search scripture we are not just trying to know we are finding our place of partnership in scripture when you find it then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing god this that action is what we call faith and the bible says it is the victory that overcomes hmm. the victory that overcomes so what is the key to your healing the bible says they came to hear and to be healed there is no healing when the word does not come for that and when the word of god comes the power of god is present to heal and then the word comes but when the word comes it does not heal you automatically the word comes and somewhere along the line it produces conviction after conviction the word will compel obedience either through an instruction or whatever it is there are conditions for reception when you come for a meeting like this there is a condition to receive number one is to believe in the lord number two is to believe the vessel he will use believing the lord alone will not give you a miracle no sir it will always come from god through men to you are we together jesus went to certain cities and the bible says he could not do mighty works that was not the limitation of his power it was not the limitation of his spirit but the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire tonight listen ladies and gentlemen god did not gather us here to waste our time it is within his power to change our lives it is within his power to wipe our tears are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in icu a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting god that there be a true encounter that refires your love for god you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise i watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the god i serve will take that limit away there are people here with sicknesses diseases infirmities real sicknesses probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals and um, maybe they've told you you have a few months to live you have a few weeks to live now and of course we have a lot of doctors here 
I respect their opinion. That's their opinion. Is their educated opinion. But tonight, whose report will you believe? I believe in Jesus. I believe in his words. There are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues. Husband is about to go. Wife is about to go. Children are haywire and they are trusting Lord would you give us order. Of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order. I mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of God's understanding and he can deal with it. Because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if God is aware that such a thing can happen to men. Let me tell you the God we serve is all knowing. All knowing. And it is within his power to solve that problem tonight. There are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting god for children and all of that i came back from abuja um in the course of the week and um when i went there i was i was counseling a few people and then i saw a young lady i think a, a couple or so i can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time i was there the woman, the lady had been, they'd been trusting God for a child. All kinds of funny medical reports. You know, she had something in her womb, her tubes. I don't know what, what, they gave all kinds of stories. And there, she had given birth, you know, to a very bouncing, healthy uh, child. And she was telling me the news and laughing. Listen, be careful what you believe. It is within your power to choose what you believe. Nothing forces itself on you. You can choose. This is a wonderful thing. This is a fact. But I choose to reject it. It's a choice. Anything that is not consistent with the counsel of God. It is within your power to choose to reject it. Are we together? There are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges. No job. No lifting. All kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with God's desire. How about demonic patterns, mysterious occurrences in the lives of people? Patterns that you cannot account for. God wants to step in. There are people here, and I believe this probably affects a lot of people, especially with the recession. The reality of lack and poverty. Lord, what is the way out? Lord, what is the way out? I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth. We've shared extensively. There are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom. And I would plead that you get those teachings. They are free. Because when it comes to prosperity, the gospel has to be taught. There is an understanding that must be built in your mind. Now, God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy. But you are never established financially through breakthrough. It will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever. Say amen. amen. There are people here trusting God for direction. You have come confused, not knowing what to do. You thought you had God, but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you. I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction. And finally, all of these are lists that the Spirit of God was just writing out for me as I, I mean, just stating out as I, I, I wrote them out. And lastly, there are people here trusting God for very strong impartations. What is an impartation? A transference of possibilities. Transference of possibilities. Impartation is as real as the chair you're sitting on. You can transfer possibilities possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibilities see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this I want you to know that the God of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies. It's going to be a very quick walk tonight.
the Lord is going to be healing the sick. The Lord is going to be setting the captives free. And like I told us last week, it is also an anointing service. And I don't, I don't do anointing services carelessly, but there are instructions that God gave me. The anointing oil that will be used tonight, the Lord asked me, it's been with me since uh, I think yesterday. I prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it. There is a heavy grace. Oil does not anoint. The oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed. Nothing is anointed on its own. It has to be anointed to become a platform. Are we together now? Tonight, what is your responsibility? Be convicted. Be persuaded that God is able. All that has happened before now, the prayers, the testimonies, and all of that is to build your faith. Some of you are coming here for the first time. You've heard about the miracles. Many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God. Everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing. We have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake. Everybody is a devil. Everybody is using charm. You know, I humorously said it last week. Uh, even if you use charm, the condition to carry the kind of power you see, even through a charm, is a condition that you have to think twice. People just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket. No, sir. God gave gifts to men. The gifts are not talents. The gifts are people. He anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people. I'm honored every time I have the opportunity to minister. There are people streaming from all over the world with different issues. Several nations, at least 47 or so nations of the world, if I'm not mistaken, connecting. And God cannot be joking. He's not playing games with us. Are we together? Everybody say, I believe. Say, Lord, tonight, I believe you. I know you are able and I trust you to step in in the name of Jesus it will be for you like day and night just all of a sudden you will find out that that door that has been closed maybe forever listen it doesn't take time time is not in the equation I've taught you this time is never in the equation the anointing of the spirit is not a suggestion the anointing of the spirit is God's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with. Are we together now? We are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men. This is not some kind of superior science. This is not superior spiritism. We are talking of God showing up in the scene. Standing face to face with a man's barrier. Hallelujah. I want you to be angry tonight and insist. Thank you. And say, Lord, that door must be open. I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session. Have you experienced the reality of triumph? I mean, there are people here who, whose testimonies have been tearsome. Tonight, you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while that you get up in the morning and within three days one door opens another door opens another dimension of encounter all of a sudden hunger all of a sudden you step back to your church and fire on the altar i mean just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles signs and wonders you bless people you shake someone's hand and all through that day a door opens you introduce something i believe it i believe it the lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural supernatural not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results literally that your life becomes a testament that they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas and they call them Zeus and Hermes, Greek gods because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men. Listen, believe it. Believe it, brothers and sisters. Yokes are breakable. Causes are destroyable. Limitations are breakable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sicknesses are healable. 
anointings are impartable. There is nothing that you desire. Don't make it look as though God is mising his power. No. He is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things. But you must believe. Tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend. And say, Lord, I have seen a dimension of your grace, but I must step into it. Lord, I have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor, but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you broken. You wear the victor's crown. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive. The Spirit and the Bride telling the Word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit communicates to the bride. And the bride in partnership with the spirit says, Come, come Lord Jesus. Come miracles. Come breakthroughs. Come deliverances. Come open doors. Come speed. Come speed. Loose chains. Loose bands. God is a mighty God. Do not allow your situations diminish the power of God. It doesn't take time. The level of grace it takes to produce your results is available. Mm. It's available. I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit. Number one is through encounters. When you have an encounter, something is deposited into you. Number two, by obedience to principles. There is a dimension of God's power that is deposited in principles. Whether a believer or a non-believer, whoever activates those principles, that dimension of his power is released immediately. Like the power of seed time and harvest is not for Christians. A dimension of God's power was encapsulated in that principle. But the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with God. Men have covenant with God. Not old and new. Their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Let me tell you something that happened yesterday. I didn't plan to share it, but but something happened. I was sleeping, and I had a dream. I thought it was a dream. Yesterday, now, while I was sleeping, I had a dream. And then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover and then I had a dream. Now, you know, I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people. And I had the, a dream and then the Lord was telling me, you know, I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you. And then something strange happened. I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and i looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the lord says i should put my hand on this jar this jar and i tell you i was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint 
there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time i noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up i don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me i started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and i was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left i just locked the door and i sat down and boom my room was full of god's presence and all of that and, and i i when i sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden i saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute and say, Father, I'm set for your visitation. My faith is alive and I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. My faith is alive. I believe you. Jabrandos katapra katalados. Enkreto katalabrande sekatepra katalabadash. Jabrete katepros kodobrandi gedibalash. Jabrandes kariada balada balada bosh. Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah. We are going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows all the overflows one two three by the grace of god and he will grant us grace in the name of jesus christ 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 please bring the three people now that the power of god comes i'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here all inside here now will you open up the gate yeah. open up the door Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Open up the gate. Open up the door. Shabra nda karato sodo Open up the gate. Open up the Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys, you know this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, right now at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One, two, three, take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now, bring them out. Shapatakata, step into that dimension. Take it, take it, take it, box right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord 
bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mende kotos shotos. Eprekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Breakthroughs. Shapos katalatosia. Eprekete ketos. Shakatos setas. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. This is a baptism. Keys. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a bunch of keys. Lord Jesus, for your glory. Let the closed door open. At the count of three. One, two, three. The name that is above all names. Access. In the realm of the spirit. Shapato sote lekata. I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost access to dimensions access to levels access to possibilities close doors opening the Lord showed me gates and I decree those gates are opening, 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 opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I decree and declare the opening of strange gates, the opening of strange gates. hallelujah hallelujah we are going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass around and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of jesus miracles in the name of jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost miracles in the name of jesus supernatural miracles i release you now i release you now i release you now I release you now. Step into anointings. Step into graces. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the spirit of the living God. There are chains I'm seeing on people's hands. Chains, 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 chains. Chains break it now. Chains break it now. Chains break it now. Get ready this road. I see chains, 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 chains. Let it break now. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles, chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking, chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shadow sotosh kalai, rakataka. Let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain, in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken, 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 broken now, broken now. In the name of Jesus, broken, you can't stand it. That chain breaks now. 
by the anointing of the Holy Ghost 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 I'm seeing the hand of the Lord a wind of his spirit coming here Lord what is happening here in the name of Jesus Shebas Kotos Kaba I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit, out of a pit, out of a pit. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, out of a pit, I proclaim it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I decree and declare, I decree and declare, captivity ended. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring leaves now. That demonic ring leaves now. I see it by the spirit. That demonic ring leaves now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings, rings. I curse it by the God of heaven. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Ata paratoshi, ente karato kotoba, shekretos kilabaya, embreketo koshubreke. Can I go out? Brata karoto shubreke deka. Those outside, I want you to get ready. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here. This media place in the name of Jesus. Barato Shesesika Ekreto Sopraka Maleketo Shekreskaya Ebrekete Ketelekata Shabrakato Skedea Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass these roads. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit. Now, be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus, be gone now. Every strange spirit. The Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus, now, 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 in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hand. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil. Madame, look at me. The Lord is bringing you breakthrough now. I'm seeing you crying and the Lord is saying, in your tears. I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is touching some people here. I'm still like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus, out of him. There's else in this young man. Be God now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, out, now, out, now, out, now, out, now, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, look at me, my dear. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your sins are over, over. In the name of Jesus, over now. In the name of. Say, no matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Clear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit in this. Now. In the name of Jesus. There's someone here, I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here God wants to now declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands. Now, listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you, are, I don't know what overflow is this. Four now. Three. Overflow. Three. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Something is going to happen right to the back. I'm seeing fire. One, two, three. Now, 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 now. Cause those spirits. I release breakthroughs now in this overflow. In the name of Jesus. To the back. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I'm seeing several of you inside pits. Now, now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on, be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. There is something God is touching you. The first four rows inside, inside the main building, first four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to. I see a lot of witchcraft in your family. And the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside, came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No. Wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome, Salome, who is Salome? Someone outside here, Salome. I'm standing close to you. Salome, come, stand here. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. Zonkua. Hallelujah. Please don't don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Two of you shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. That's the end of it. Lord, I set them free. Help them under the anointing. Please, there is somebody. The spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what God is people outside. There is somebody around here. I want to prophesy to the person. Bring the person. That's the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm seeing a snake. God. My God. I'm seeing a, not Not this person. I'm seeing a snake. And the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. I'm blowing that person right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to. Has to be free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, here it is, it's coming now. I see like light coming on someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I set you free. I'm ministering to people. Kauna. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please to me first. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oh God, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I've seen a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now, this very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus, it's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I will walk it to the front and then I will come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very much because we're going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to sit down. That anybody on a wheelchair or on a your foot stand up right now. When I ask you to stand you will stand up and took away whatever you came with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um, my God. I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is it you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus. Them now in the name of Jesus. I bring you life by the power of the Spirit. The life of the life of God by the power of the Spirit. Lease life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness leaves. Every trace of darkness leaves. Leaves, 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 leaves now. Leaves now. Now, now, leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. It must go now. It must go now. Someone with pile is being healed now. Somewhere here. Someone with pile is being healed now. Someone with pile, you're going to feel like fire going through your body. We'll pray for the sick shortly. Be healed now. Fire is on your head. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a yoke of delay here. This road. Somebody, somebody has to be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's to a new level. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is renewing. Renewing, renewing. I hear renewal. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here. And he wants to touch somebody right now. In the name of Jesus. Let it be over. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now. Please help them my God. Ecros 
My sister, you are praying and I'm hearing your prayer. Come. You are telling the Lord to visit you. I'm hearing your prayers in my ears and the Lord is saying I should, that he should give you a visitation. Who is this? My children. This is your husband? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in Berlin. I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see. Right? The Lord is going to set them free because I've seen everything is tied down for this family. Nothing is working. Yes, sir. Is that true? The Lord is going to step in now. Edo State. Edo State. I'm from Edo State. What the Spirit of God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm pray for you. Please. Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now, everyone from Benway State, get ready. The anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State. Benway State. The Lord is setting people free. Benway State right now. Shekatos, Kalatos. Inside and outside. Benway State. Benway State. Inside, outside. Benway State. I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State. Anointings. Mata Lakota. It's a sign and a word that the Lord does. Where he locates people by states. Locates people by states. I'm praying now. If you're in Benway State, this unction is on you. The work is on you inside. My God, I'm seeing people inside, inside the main auditorium. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs. I'm hearing or to go or to go breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs or to go. Shakato sekete, egreto shalabariata, embrakato shataya la kosata. Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, there are miracles. In the name of Jesus, there are breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jacob, 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 your. I'm standing close to you and your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, there's somebody praying in this room. The power of God is coming on him now. Someone is praying a prayer. In the name of Jesus. You are stepping into a level. The spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? Asabe, I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace this evening. There are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe, is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit her family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Eni. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now. Because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you are writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. 
he will he will he will we're talking about the spirit of the lord in the name of jesus let it be over my brother stand up look at me your relationship with the lord jesus look at me you love jesus i'm seeing your legs tied and i'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head your relationship with the lord jesus christ is where this will start from be free now out in the name of jesus help him in the name of jesus christ where did you come from my dear you are from Isuka. in the name of jesus christ hold my hands let it be over now by the power of the holy spirit let it be over now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking to Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna, inside and outside. You're from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people. Southern Kaduna. Miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover. The cover of a well being opened in the name of Jesus let it be by the Spirit of the Living God by the Spirit of the Living God by the Spirit of the Living God let it end now I stretch my hands to you let it end captivity must end in the name of Jesus Christ captivity must end now Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotash. Embrekete shala bradosa subriada. Shala brinde keto prasara banana ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy, Italy, a country, Italy. Who has a relative in Italy? You come. There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My elder sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yes, yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in the miracle service. Is, is, these are not just miracles. They are called signs and wonders. They are operations of the Spirit. You can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the Spirit. It's not so magic. These are operations. These are superior dimensions of the operation of the Spirit of the living God. I want to pray for the lady in Italy. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now. A miracle right now. Something is leaving you, even you who is standing. This has caused delay in your life. The Lord is about to give you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural speed. The Lord ends captivity in your life. Let it end now. Captivity is ending by the Spirit and the power of God. Captivity is ending. Hallelujah. There is somebody inside here. I'm seeing a vision. You are a, you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. 
I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Look at me. Lord Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. In the name of Jesus. You play football? Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe, the devil will go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. You understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal. Prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant? How many months? Seven months? Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where is your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand on your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ. And I curse the works of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I'm seeing fire. It's like it's looking for someone in this room. This is something that has to do with someone's family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just this room. Because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The power of God will come upon whoever that person is. And that will end it right now. End it right now. Family. God is touching the families. In the name of Jesus. It is not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Spirit of God. It's not by power. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. 
let my sister have a child who is that prayer point number one you are wearing red break every chain break every chain I hope you are not telling lies what was your first prayer request let my sister and my brother have a baby where are they they are in their various places your sister how long has she been married going to three years did she have a child before no but my brother has did she take in before no this person is wearing red i will pray for you but i'm seeing somebody wearing red this is the person in the vision the lord is showing me. who is that this is the person i saw but i will pray with you listen i want you to believe that no barren person there is no need to go back without a child it's, it's, there is not necessary hold on i'm not just praying for barren people at random but just let them come since they're here we'll pray for people we're about to pray for people now we'll take our time to minister the anointing is there you see that even the vigils sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning praise the lord my friend you love jesus Kai, please don't be embarrassed i want to pray for somebody now i'm seeing you standing and i want to pray i know i always pray but this guy smokes uh um what they call that thing but I know people smoke all kinds of things, but this guy, your own is acute. You are here, but truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing that you have some. I don't know whether it's at home. Please, who is that? Don't be embarrassed. The Lord wants to set you free. If you sit down, that's your, that's, that's for you. Whether you are inside, outside, make your way. Don't be ashamed. Just come out here. I want to pray for you now. My dear, I want you to call. Where are they? Who, who are you standing in for? Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. You? No, You're the, my sister. Your sister. Okay, I want to pray. The person I'm talking about, please summon the courage to stand here. I want to pray for you. I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free i decree and declare let it be right now establish it in jesus name it's over now you are the one who came come we have to pray your brother you said they are barren i'm not seeing your brother barren yeah he, ha he has two children how, how many two children hold on let me talk to you how many children the first one was a miscarriage miscarriage how many children are there now the second one died like two weeks after i'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage they were born but they died two, two children now is there's no child at all the one they had died like weeks or so how many weeks two weeks, two weeks after birth one and one day and he just died we have to pray you understand you you're standing in for them and you believe god will help them we have to pray as you are praying for them it will never be part of your life you have no business with that thing somebody needs to come out this wee wee thing who is the person let's celebrate him don't don't feel bad <laughs> hallelujah he's your friend he's your brother he smokes this thing he smokes uh Huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? I uh, can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing, the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing, it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves, you see. Those leaves. There is a lady come and join him i'm seeing a lady don't be embarrassed please jesus is setting you free there is a lady you can't help yourself this is not the issue of being good or bad please run boldly and come if you waste our time you just sit where you are one lady there is a lady this thing has destroyed it's not like you like it but you can't help it it comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come my dear let's pray we have to pray for the sick now 
in the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. I terminate the yoke of barrenness right now. Sister and brother, in the name of Jesus, they take in now. You're here for the same reason? You're here for the same reason? In the name of Jesus. You're standing for yourself? Your sister. If I ask for people who have who want children, except you are standing for somebody, if you are standing for yourself, make sure you, are, you have a husband or a wife. Praise God. We, we are Bible believers, but we are not stupid people. Make sure you are married officially. Because I know that there are people who just live together. Um, you, don't, you don't love God and then we have to stay. Of course, God is merciful. The Spirit of God is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. We are a family. Nobody looks down and embarrasses. There's no condemnation here whatsoever. We are here to help. We are here to show you the mercies of God. Hold my hands, my dear. This is a lady. Ah, no, this is not how. The person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is, you understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on, don't worry. Uh, we are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, staring he's at from me. Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. From bed, you see how the guy is staring at me. If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what you are saying. <laughs> it's a very long distance. Stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy. He's a nice person. This this is what we we and co can do. Let's pray. Let's pray. My friend, don't worry, we are praying for you. Eh? It's not just you. Stretch your hands, saints of God, you are anointed. Let's pray for him. Lord, help this gentleman. Please, I still insist, this lady, if God grants you grace, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, we love you, and in the name of Jesus, we pray for you sincerely, by the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you, that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life, in the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 Rebecca, I have to talk to that person quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We're still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca, is there anyone? Huh? My sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear, come. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes is in. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Hey. Rukaya. Rukaya, come. I love you, eh? Come, you're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady you can see very lovely beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy so every time words come like this or when we pray for people this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of god's mercy and grace are we together darling i i know that you may not like some of them it may not even be bad friends they just got into all of these things and let me tell you maturity does not deliver people from spirits you can be growing older and still remain you believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? Thank you. You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you will try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up that I just can't stop. What do you take? 
I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression, all kinds of challenges, their lack of understanding the word of God, their lack of encounter with the word of God is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you, eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, eh? Pastor Alpha, please, eh? You will follow this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies, it's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people. By the way, when, when it's time to do the final prayer, we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here you want to love God and, and live for Him. But there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it, in the name of love, in the name of relationship, and, and in the name of wanting to marry you, they derail you from the path of God. Anybody who must make you leave God to marry you is not an irresponsible person. That prayer has already been answered. The answer is no. Leave the person quickly. Don't say I'm waiting on God. God is not a fool. Are we together? So go and meet Pastor Alpha. He will help you. Eh? He will collect your details and your... Rebecca, all of you, three of you, I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that, um, you know, your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name, over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty. In the name of Jesus, it's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that a song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana. Gashina, Gashina, Gamuna, Sirkin Al Janna, Yana, Gashina, Gamuna, Yana. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. Let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction. And my God, what a joy to life. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Jabratos Kalabrende gave us Sarabakuriata Katash. Jabratos Sobredi Shikarata Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus. Mandala Kapratos Katavridish Kalabraniakata. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for signs. We agree for wonders. Mante kalas kotambriatatosisiatakatalokarusia. Bredo go shobradis kalabrata kataparadash. Lekata prando susibriata. Ekata. 
Pray. We receive miracles. We receive signs. We receive wonders. In the name of Jesus. Lord, release miracles to families. Release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and declare, agree with me. Right now, let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now. Lord, this is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world. Lord, we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Visit the barren, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, wipe the tears of your people by the power of your word. Let there be miracles. We release miracles, 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 miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We thank you. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it done in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now we're getting to the last phase we're going to pray on this hallelujah let me tell you something about this oil you are seeing is is truly an oil of wonder i spent uh, the night praying no oil in itself is anointed please be careful don't hurt her don't ah uh, hold on <laughs> <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her my dear be comfortable okay this your case is a very straightforward demonic case your bones are fine everything is fine you've taken this just relax um if she doesn't feel the strength to stand don't force her but you can just guide her who brought her how did she come you carried her can you carry her are you that strong this is night vigilo okay take her gradually you try to walk to where well, while they are carrying you please when you keep her exercise there's no reason oh dear there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled honestly speaking it's not that her bones are broken just all these demonic things so i was talking about this oil um there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things oil water handkerchiefs aprons um, um stickers banners they lose the life in it religion is a very terrible thing it's important you do things according to the word of god and as directed by the holy spirit last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, our anoint these guys and then we'll do it very quickly whilst we are doing that please the moment you come touch the anointing oil on your head please and please We'll make it very fast. You can see that it's already five o'clock. It's almost as if um, it was not a vigil. <laughs> Praise God. Father, we give you all the praise. I lift up this jar of oil. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we call it an oil of breakthrough. Say amen. We decree and declare. Let this oil be a symbol of supernatural breakthrough the supernatural oil that came from my hands that was added to this I pray that the mystery of breakthrough that this represents as it comes upon you let there be strange signs and wonders in the name of Jesus 
let this provoke angelic visitations in the name of Jesus Christ and let this cause the Holy Spirit to move in your life in a mighty way the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord is upon me and the reason why he's upon me is because I was anointed in the name of Jesus may the anointing attract dimensions of the operations of the Spirit in the name of Jesus we dedicate this I command this oil to lose its earthly significance and to take on the significance of a mystery in the realm of the spirit representing breakthrough at the same time let this be an oil of judgment in the name of Jesus Christ let this be an oil of judgment by the power of the Holy Spirit God's ability God's ability is working in me. Hallelujah. We have to say it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I'm anointing you so that you will stand. And as I lay my hands, I pray that this grace of breakthrough and favor will start from you first. I want you to believe it. This is an oil that will bring supernatural breakthrough in your own life. Supernatural grace, supernatural grace, supernatural grace, anointing of the Holy Ghost in fresh dimensions in the name of Jesus. That grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, so you can give it to them, Father. We decree and declare this is an oil of supernatural breakthrough. I can always add. Please quickly station yourselves. We are going to be praying all through. As soon as, as soon as the oil touches you, please, I want you to begin to pray. Worship team, you give us. Uh, okay, just play the instruments. We'll just begin to pray in the spirit. Everyone praying in the spirit. As the oil comes upon you, begin to declare, speak forth, release your faith. Lord, we decree and declare right now. Let miracles begin. Let signs and wonders and breakthroughs begin in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You can stand here. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. As soon as you touch the oil, begin to prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare the word of the Lord becomes my testimony. The oil is anointed. Mande brada scala brede chefre de seca to brada kata balada ba. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. Make sure everyone is anointed. Make sure everyone is anointed. Young, old. Zambra di kasu di brada balada bos. Madi brasa zize anakushada cross kala ba. Please keep standing, everybody. It's morning already. I want to make an altar call quickly. Our time is up. It's just two minutes to six. Please keep standing. No moving around inside, outside. There are people here. You have seen the power of God. You have seen the grace of God. And you're saying, Apostle, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to hand my life over to God like the dear lady who came out um, and many other people. I know that it is morning, but it should not rob you. The greatest miracle, literally and truthfully, is an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you are inside, you are outside, any of the overflows online, you are following and you are saying, man of God, I want you to pray with me. And at the same time, there are people, you have given your heart to the Lord, but things happen around your life, your life went haywire and you need, you are saying, I, I cannot go back the way I came. I want to have this restoration, this encounter. I'm rededicating my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, please, we have just two minutes for you. Inside, outside, please clear the way for them. Make sure you don't discourage them. Let's appreciate them as they come. Wherever you are, God bless you. Make your way to the front. Are you appreciating them? They are coming. Please run, run quickly. Inside, outside. If you're coming, I want you to run. God bless you. God bless you. Clap hands for them. They are coming. God bless you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Keep coming. Don't let anyone stop you. If you are joining them, please come quickly. Clear the way for them. Overflow one, two, three, and then the fourth one. Those online connect with us. I'm about to lead them to a very special prayer. Very special prayer.
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to lift your right hand and pray this after me sincerely from your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. Tonight, come, join them quickly. Tonight, you're coming from outside. Quickly, 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 join them. Join them. Let's be very fast. Let's be very fast. Quickly. Say after me, all of you standing here, say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the son of God I ask you to cleanse me forgive my sins I believe you, you were raised from the dead and now you are alive I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare by the authority of scripture that I'm a child of God I hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.